Hey everybody, it's Tiffany and Arlen, the Patio Gardeners, and uh, Tiffany, what do we have here? This is a rain barrel. This is a rain barrel. We're going to use it to collect rainwater from our garage's gutter system, and we're going to use it to water our plants. So Tiffany, let's go over the uh, items that are in this rain barrel kit. If you are interested in getting a rain barrel, you might be able to get one through your uh, municipality, your local municipality's water uh, service or um, we'll include a link in the description of this video for, for getting a rain barrel of your own where you can purchase one. So let's show what, what comes with this particular kit. Um, the lid is detachable. And what is this thing here, Tiffany? That is a screen that does two things. One thing is it prevents leaves and other debris from getting inside. The other thing it prevents is mosquitoes so that they will not use your rain barrel as a breeding ground. Yeah, so the water is basically gonna fall from the gutter into this. And if I can get the lid off, there we are, uh, it's going to go in the barrel itself. Um, the lid just comes right off. And then what are some of these items here? What is this hose? So this hose is for the overflow of the rain barrel so that when it gets full, it doesn't just overflow in place. You can kind of direct where that you water is going to go. Water goes. Yeah, so we're going to attach, you can choose which side you want to put that hose on. Um, and we'll, we'll actually create a hole in the side of this. We'll show that stuff in a moment. And then what are these two other items here? So this is for hooking up to your downspout to help direct the water into the barrel. From the gutter, yep. yep. And then what's this last item? This is the spigot that you attach on the bottom of it so that you can use the water to either attach a hose to it or fill up a watering can so you can use the water in your yard or garden. Okay, great. So this is gonna be step one is attaching the spigot. Okay, we got this thing on its side. Let's put in, this is a, the spout plus a rubber gasket to help seal in the water. Yep. Okay, all right, spout's on. Let's uh, put the nut on the inside to secure it. And I'll hold this in place while you crawl inside and screw that nut on the other end. Okay, so you can see on both sides of this rain barrel, we have uh, two different, um, overflow nozzles and you can choose which one you want to pop out and use for overflow so we got that too because of where our garage is situated we really only can have an overflow on this side so i've got a hammer a mallet and a screwdriver and i'm basically just going to pop this try and pop this disc out uh, so that water can flow once it gets once this rain belt gets full it's going to go over this little lip into this well and flow out the side so let's see how well i can do this Okay, that's one hole. You really need to pop it around the edges. Okay. To like get it out. Well, you can try that. Nope, <laughs> it just wants to go through that one hole. There we go, okay. Yeah. All right, that disc is gonna come out. Okay, there we are. This is the hardest part of all, getting the disc out, okay. Perfect. So that's pretty good. Water can now come through that out the hose. Okay, so we got our overflow hose. Just going to put this on here. Great. Okay, that's nice and secure. If we had a second rain barrel, we could have this hose feeding into that. We don't have that right now. We might have it in the future, but right now it's just going to allow any overflow to go away from the garage. Okay, so we're over at our garage and we have a gutter down here. Now, normally you'd have to saw off the gutter with a hacksaw and safety glasses and attach an elbow piece. Luckily, the previous owner of this house already had a rain barrel many, many, many years ago. So they've already done that task, but you would normally just measure and cut with just normal hacksaw and attach this elbow piece. Below, to uh, keep the rain barrel off the ground, we've just got some cinder blocks here. These cost a couple bucks at the hardware store, local hardware store. And so we've created a nice surface that's relatively level. So let's put this up here. And it barely fits. Okay, we got this little flexible elbow piece. And that's probably going to work pretty well. It is coming down. Boy, it rained a lot last night, and uh, here's our rain barrel. I'm just going to lift off the lid so you can see how much it rained. It's a pretty big 
container. Wow. That rain is just up to the top here. In fact, the uh, overflow hose here on the side that's attached to it was uh, definitely getting some use out of that. The overflow just came out right out the hose there. I don't know if you could see, it's just coming out of there. So uh, listen, Tiffany, let's, uh, let's go ahead and use it. Uh, yeah, so we have the spout and the water just comes out. We're using a watering can, but we could also attach a hose to this if we wanted. And here is our rainwater that we're going to use to water our plants. If you're interested in setting up your own rain barrel, feel free to check out the link in the description for this video. We've got some uh, helpful resources and all the materials that we used and tools in this video. And uh, feel free to subscribe for more videos next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Bye.